Detention Postmaster General of the United States of America. It is amazing how bad the Postal Service is. I've known people that work for the Post Office for many, many years and really took pride in their work and very, very precise at what they have done. And it's a shame to see what's happened where so many post offices have been closed down in smaller areas and that. Um, and then even when they do that, the functionality of the Postal Service is so, so poor. It kind of seems like Amazon does a better job delivering than the United States Post Office. Uh, it's just amazing. For one, three right off that top of my head, three of the worst post office in the United States would be Dothan, Alabama, the big main post office downtown. That's a royal joke. Uh, if you get a P.O. box there, um, the mail, usually you won't get a lot of your especially really important mail. Um, I've heard numerous people, uh, other than what I've experienced uh, in the years, that, you know, your electric bills, whatever, you just don't get them, and their utilities get shut off and everything because... You know, they're not getting the bills put in their P.O. box. It's like, if you want to get mail lost real quick, ship it to Dothan. If it goes through the Dothan Post Office, it will definitely be lost. Because that is like the black hole where all mail goes and disappears. It's unreal. And uh, they have a ton of people on the desk. But, and they're... They're just not very fast, so if you ever have to wait in line there, it's just horrible. And if you go to any other post office in the Dothan area, it's really bad. Really, really bad service. Um, but uh, uh, I think most of them are on tranquilizer so they can stay sedated or something because they just can't move along. If you uh, do any business with the Valparaiso Post Office, Valparaiso, Florida, that's one of the biggest jokes of all. They have one or two people that are working there that you ever see at the front. Um, and I, I had packages, I've had post box out there twice in about 25 years, and had a PO box there, and you look at the tracking, and it'll say that, you know, it's there or it's over at another post office in Fort Walton or something. And, and then, you know, you go up there and you tell them, well, you know, the tracking number says it was here, you know, two days ago. Where is it? And they're like, well, uh, I don't know. And, and then it comes to know that all the mail that goes to that post office over there by Eglin Air Force Base sits at Niceville Post Office. And then somebody has to literally go get all that mail and bring it to the Valparaiso post office. And I, I told them one day, I said, I'm not moving until you show up with my package. Or you give me authorization to go get it. And I hope nice feel, oh, we can't do that. Well, then you better find somebody to go get my mail. You know, I was waiting on a car part that I absolutely had to have that I had shipped like overnight. And I couldn't even get it for days. And, uh, they literally sent somebody over in a car to go and uh, uh, get the mail at the Knoxville Post Office and bring it over, and then they have to check it in and do all this other stuff. What is that Mickey Mouse routine? And then I talked to a guy that had the same P.O. box there at the Valparaiso Post Office for like 30 years, and they, they closed his box, and he always pays for it. And, uh, um, I had a box there, and, and uh, they closed my box before it was supposed to be closed, and I was out of state, and so I got back on the second of the month, and they wanted to charge me like this $20 fee, and this $10 fee, and all this other extra fees, which was going to be like $85 to get the P.O. box back, and it was like, whoa. So, I also have a post office box at Destin, Florida which they seem to quite nice, and they have a really neat thing there where they'll give you a physical address so you get all your packages there. 
which is wonderful. It keeps from porch pirates or anything else. And I travel a lot, so um, the the problem with them is that I get everybody else's mail but my own. Okay, I get PO box mail for one one thousand seventeen, one thousand twenty four. Every number other than the PO box I have every single day. I don't know if they got somebody's two year old back there that's putting the mail in there having a blast of stuff in an annual box or somebody back there needs glasses. Um, I do know that every time I open that PO box that there's like two or three people back there just yapping. Now, why is it you're yapping to the person that's putting the mail in the boxes? How do they concentrate? And then if you go to the front desk, I've gone up there with a tracking number and said, look, this is supposed to have been here for a week. It said it was already signed and delivered. And I even have where it shows who signed for it. And it's this name, Bobby. And uh, the lady's like denied it like I'm lying and everything. And I said, I've got it right here on my phone. So who is Bobby that signed for my mail? You need to find Bobby and get my mail. Because they signed for it three days ago. And um, uh, she's like, well, you know. And then she's like, well, that comes in on a flat. So, you know, a rep of the post office just signs for it. Well, go find that rep and ask him where my mail is. Well, they probably haven't checked it all in yet. I'm like, that was three days ago. You know? Um, so, I, I, I've, you know, written complaints, I filed complaints. Don't really get much anything done. It just kind of seems to get worse. They put a bill in my box the other day and none of my mail. I mean, I have packages that are supposed to be here for the whole last week. I've got one that's being shipped back to Canada. Let's say it was received three days ago and signed for, but just shipped it back to Canada. And it's on its way back now, and I'm mad as hell because it goes through so many customs to get here. It took weeks to even get here. Um, and I, I had a package a month ago from Canada that uh, made it through from the same company. So, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Somebody needs to investigate these post offices for the bad service. Uh, and it's really hard to get a hold of the United States Postmaster. I've been all over online, and that's a big joke. Um, I did call the post office today, and some guy named Bobby, who is ridiculous, uh, is talking over me, and I said, look, he's like, well, just put it out of who's on your P.O. box. I said, no, just put my mail in my box. And then any packages, you put the little key to the other big box to pick the packages up like you're supposed to do. That's what I paid for. Um... You know, I, 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 it would be nice if you would stop putting everybody else's mail in my in my P.O. box every single day. I get two to three other people's mail in my P.O. box every day that's to another address and not my P.O. box address. Uh, that's the first problem. I'll tell you, where's my packages? You know, well, you know, well, well. And he's rattling on and on. And, he, and I said, you know... He said some n nasty comment. I said, you know, why don't you look up the reviews on this post office? It's all over the internet. Oh, well, our reviews are top notch. And I'm like, oh, you better look again. The reviews on Google are 1.2 so stars. And on Yelp, they're a 1.7 stars. It is so bad. And then the guy got real snotty with me and goes, well, things are done differently here. There's a new sheriff in town. And it's like, well, give me the sheriff's number. Yeah, really. You know? I didn't know that sheriff at the post office. You know? What an idiot. You're supposed to be professional. You work for the federal government. You get paid really good money. You have really good retirement. Why are you going to be an idiot? You know? And whoever this Bobby is, you know, why don't you get find the, the postmaster of your post office and tell them? Tell them you're the new sheriff in town or some crap. Yeah. And this guy turns around and he just does nothing but talk over me. And and I'm like, all I'm asking is that you put my mail in my P.O. box. If it has my P.O. box number on it, put it in there. You know? And it's going on and on and on. And, and then he hangs up the phone, okay? 
I was like, whoa. About four minutes later, he calls back. It's like, you hang up on me and call back, what, so you don't get busted? Because I got you an audio tape? You don't get busted for hanging up on a customer? Man, P.O. Box isn't cheap nowadays. It used to be years ago, but it's not cheap nowadays. You know, how hard is it? God is not even Christmas time. How hard is it to get the mail to the customer? You know. But somebody needs to do something to investigate badly. Very, very badly to these poor, poor post offices. You got a problem with your post office with the city and state where it's at? And tell them. Oh, by the way, that Destin post office is 175 Main Street mm -hmm. in Destin. The Valparaiso post office is up by Eglin Air Force Base. It's the only one in Valparaiso. And the one in Dothan, Alabama is way downtown, the big post office. Uh, uh, way by downtown. The courthouse. By the courthouse. They're, they have several of them in Dothan, but that big main one down there. But anyway, um, my hat's off to the great people that worked for the post office in the past and, and, and retired from the post office that were wonderful people. Uh, hats off to those people. It's a shame we don't still have you because somebody needs to teach these people how to work because they don't know how. They're just taking advantage of our, our money and our tax dollars and, and all that high pay for postage stamps and services and P.O. boxes and overnight and all that other stuff to not get the mail to us and you know, to play with the mail, steal the mail, whatever it is they're doing. Somebody needs to find out. Oh, by the way, I've only got one electric bill for one property in six months at that post office box in Destin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's pretty lame. I'm a guy trying to make a million excuses for that. I'm like, uh, no, it was returned like twice. I know that for a fact. Because I've had to change it twice with an electric company on that property I own over there. So, uh, that's pretty inexcusable. So, uh, anyway, uh, I wish you the best. And um, if you got a complaint about your local post office, name the city and state and your problem. And let's get this to the United States Postmaster General so that somebody can do an investigation and get something done. Because we're wasting our money paying these people when they won't do their job. Um, it's just ridiculous. Uh, oh, by the way, the Asian lady on the front desk seems real nice at first, but she's not. And then I had to stand there. This is at Destin Post I, I had to stand there one day while another lady was there. And they were trying to count the Asian lady's bank. But she came up and making everybody wait in line. Now she came up like eight times short, so she just handed the money to another worker and said, Hey, you count this and tell me what you got. Tell me if you got 160. And it was like, oh. So, anyway, comment below. Leave your comment about your crappy post office or your great post office or if you were a postal worker or whatever, um, what you feel about it. And let's get this postmaster general. Yeah. Everybody have a really great and blessed day. Hope you get your mail.